What I've got here is a procedural wood texture. So it uh, takes a whole load of parameters and uh, outputs something that resembles wood. So you can get some different results from the same thing. This is all from the same material, just with a few different numbers. Um, but the problem is that this can be quite heavy on your um, on the node tree, right? These these groups are pretty complex. There's two of them. Um, so what you really want to be able to do is bake onto a single texture. Baking in Blender is notoriously slow. I'm just going to show you a few quick settings just to make it go as quickly as it can do. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to set up our material as we want, and then we're going to add Shift A, add an image texture. And then in here, we're just going to set new and call it diffuse. Now you can set this resolution to whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it as 1024. I'm going to turn off alpha because that's extra information that we don't need. This is going to be an opaque image all the way across, so turn off alpha. I'm going to hit OK. Now in my uh, UV editor, I'm going to hit this drop down and select the diffuse that we just made. Now right now it is just a black square because there's nothing on it, there's no information stored there. So with it selected in the UV editor, make sure that this node is selected, it doesn't need to be plugged into anything. And we're going to go into our render panel here, making sure that cycles is selected, we can go down to the bake settings and first of all we're going to select diffuse and I'm going to turn off indirect and direct so it's just recording the color information. Now under performance this is a really big one you need to set the tile size to be the exact resolution of your bake image so in this case that's 1024 by 1024. This is like the biggest thing that is going to speed up your bake um, and then in the the, uh, the passes, you might think that you want a really high one to get a smooth image, but honestly, you can set it to 16 and you're not going to notice much difference. So that's really all there is to it. 16 in the render uh, passes. Your image size in pixels for your tile size. And then just select whichever map it is that you're doing, color, and then hit bake. Also make sure that you have your uh, your object selected that you're going to bake from, otherwise you'll get an error down here. So bake. Now it's just going to sit here and texture bake. So this is going to take a little while. I will come back when it's done. And rendered. So you can see here that we've got our diffuse. And it's not the highest res, it's only 1024, but right for now. Really important that you remember to do this. This is not saved, this is only cached. So go image in your UV editor, image, save as, and then just wherever, save it. This one, new material. I've got my principal BSDF. We're going to swing into EV preview just so that we can see what's going on. I'm going to add my image textures now. I'm going to add diffuse, roughness, and normal. I'm going to hit Control T. I've got the Node Wrangler add on uh, switched on. It's going to connect all those vectors the same. I'm going to add a new vector normal. Oh, sorry, vector normal map. The color from the normal into the color here. I'm going to set this to Blender Object Space, which seems to work better for me. I'm going to select that to normal. And I'm going to drop that down to 0.1. Seems to work better. And then I'm going to hit the 
the roughness. And as you can see, we've already got just some of that grain roughness showing through. And then the base color goes in, of course. So there we go. That is basically how you uh, create a bake from whatever you want from any of your objects. So great. So this one super useful because I can now get live feedback and use it in a scene. It's very lightweight. This is a very small, quick thing for EV to handle or for cycles to handle. And just let the cycles load it. There we go. This is going through its samples a little bit quick. I've got quite a slow computer, but this is steaming on three. And if we were to switch back to the original one, you can see that it looks, to all intents and purposes, exactly the same. However, this, because of the node setup being so heavy, cannot actually be rendered with EV. I'll just show you that. As you can see, we've got a just magenta, which is Blender's way of saying cannot display or nothing to display. And uh, we switch back to the new one. But we've baked these images. That's great. That's, that's what we want. So I hope that's helped somebody. Just to recap, check your tar size is the same as your image size and drop your render passes right down and then just hit bake.